Hi there, this is MJ from Mirrored Wellness, the podcast about mirroring other skillful habits so we can become our best empowered selves. We'll talk about tips, hacks, and some personal journeys along the way. So join me for today's topic. Let's dive in. Well, hello there, my fine friends. This is MJ with Mirrored Wellness Podcast. I have a little deviation from what we've been doing lately, um, as I think if you have been following along up to this point, you can tell uh, the last podcast is a little late. I was supposed to, and I like to call ship, uh, I was supposed to ship last week, meaning I was supposed to put a podcast out, but failure, right? (laughs) We can talk about why I failed. I can tell you a whole bunch of reasons and excuses why it didn't happen, but the whole purpose of this podcast is to tell you um, that failure happens. There is a Japanese proverb that says, fall seven times, stand up eight. I really like that. And in my case, it's fall about 5,000 times, get up 5,001, something like that. I spent a lot of time getting above the ground. But uh, there's also a Chinese proverb that I like as well. And it states, failure is not falling down, but refusing to get up. That basically means is the same thing as the fall seven times, stand up eight, where when you fall, you have to recognize that it happened. You recognize that you failed. And sometimes in my case, in this case, it was self-sabotage. There's a lot of stuff going on in my uh, in my life right now, and I have a fear of success and of failure. And sometimes I realize that I am I'm self sabotaging. I'm uh, using lots of things as excuses. So uh, I'll give you an example. I'll um, walk around my house and find something else to do. So I have research to do. And instead of doing that research, because I know it will lead to something that will lead to something else, that will lead to something that will lead to my success if I keep doing the work. So my mind wants to find an easier way out because success is scary to me. It's scary that all, you know, more people will be relying on me and possibly I will be in a position um, to be more responsible. Um, That is scary sometimes and um and it happens so I'll find an excuse so you know dishes need to be done anyway so you do the dishes and then maybe the floor needs to be vacuumed and then we'll take the dogs out for a walk and then well maybe I should do some food prep for the next couple of days and then let's do some folding or then I'm going to organize. And this is all valid things, right? It's all things that need to be done. So it's full of excuse, you know, deviation from things that you should be really focusing on. Another thing that I I tend to do is um, I make excuses. So last week I was not a hundred percent feeling wonderful. So I use that excuse to, and yes, sometimes you do need to take some time off, but historically I slow down significantly when I don't feel well. And I happen to have a lot of things that I had to do last week. And instead of just slowing down, I just didn't do them. I used my feeling sick as an excuse, basically, to take a couple of days off. And again, if you need that time off for being sick or whatever it is, take that time off. But what I knew about myself is that I definitely used that time where instead of just picking away at a couple things, I just didn't at all. <laughs> so uh, that's, I know there are some people out there that can totally relate to one of those two self-sabotage moves. Um, you find everything else under the sun to do, but what you know you should be doing to move your goals forward uh, or just totally stop altogether. Uh, the, there's something that happens to me that I want to share. So 
I will share with you a quote, All Your Excuses Are Lies by Jocko Willink. I normally have to say that normally I will go for um, mentors and um, people that I listen to their podcasts and people I consider to be my heroes in a way. Those type of people tend to be in my life like uh, Mel Robbins or um, I'm trying to think of other people, Lisa Bilyeu. Um, I can probably go off on a tangent and list about a million other people that I find to be uh, heroes to me that I look up to. However, those people tend to be on the what I would consider the lighter side. The uh, I mostly respond to what I would consider a lighter touch in some areas. So like a gentle nudge in that direction. Someone who's a little bit more crunchy, maybe like uh, slightly hippie-ish, um, if you will, or um, you know, a little bit more spiritual, that kind of thing. I respond really well to that. But sometimes, sometimes I require a little heavier handed reminder of things. Uh, Jocko Willink is definitely one of those people that I look to when I need that reminder. He has a video on YouTube that I keep on, I keep it on my, I have like a list and my notes. This is another, maybe a tip for you, if you're counting tips. A tip is to, if I'm feeling like this, if I'm feeling like a failure, if I'm feeling like I'm self-sabotaging, I will go into that list and it will have things that worked for me um, and videos to watch to motivate myself to um, push past those feelings. Uh, meditations, I think I said that, meditations, quotes, and you know, videos and stuff like that to listen to. to. Jocko Willink's video, All Your Excuses Are Lies, it's a short YouTube video and it basically uh, speaks to the chronic excuse maker, as he says. And I would have to say I am a recovering chronic excuse maker. <laughs> uh, that's something that I'm very good at uh, recovering from, to be honest. Um, he has some really incredible, kind of deviating from this, Jocko Willing Cash, some incredible books out there. And actually, as uh, he is ex, I believe, SEAL, or he's ex-military or still in the military, I believe. But the way he says stuff is very to the point, very uh, almost, uh, I would say, military-esque. And I appreciate that as a more heavy-handed reminder to do things, um, to push myself forward. Another person that doesn't necessarily uh, hit everybody correctly, but I can... I pull from in the same exact way is David Goggins. I really like the way he says things and the way he pushes forward. Uh, uh, for you of my friends and I have a saying that we, you know, when we have to push past something that's really uncomfortable, like you're running and you feel like you're going to die, you basically, what we would call Goggins it. You just suck it up and do it. <laughs> And if anybody out there knows David, uh, any of David Goggins stuff, uh, you know what I mean. So I would, I'm going to leave that stuff in the podcast notes like I usually do. I will leave the link to Jocko Willink's YouTube video down below and also a link to David Goggins uh, social media. I would say he literally posts, I believe, every day. He posts quite a bit. Uh, he also has a book. The name of the book eludes me right now, but it is fabulous read. Um, it, again, it's it's very heavy handed, but his story is wonderful. So those are things that I use to move past self sabotage to remind myself that it's okay, but you still need to get up. That failure is inevitable, but it's how many times you get up. So this is me, my long form apology on being late on this podcast. And I appreciate every single one of you. I promised myself I would leave this podcast to somewhere around 10 minutes. 
to try to keep it short like I wanted to keep them. I know they've been getting longer and longer. <laughs> the next podcast, we'll talk about failure and, and abundance, how failure can lead to abundance or vice versa, how abundance can sometimes lead to failure. I appreciate, again, every single one of you. Just remember to breathe and that when you feel like you're self-sabotaging, you have a clear goal and you know how to get there, but you're just feeling scared and not moving forward, that it's, it's okay to feel like that, but you need to find a way to move forward past it. Find it. Again, I cannot stress how wonderful it is to have an accountability buddy, somebody who's going to help you, a group of people that are going to help remind you that you need to do the hard work. All right, folks, thank you so much for listening. Again, I appreciate you. I will talk to you in just a couple of days. I will not fail to ship this one. Tune in next time. Take care. listening. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe if this adds value. Tell your friends, send them my way. And my hope is that you can be the best you. Take a deep breath because we got this.